Right now this is my leaf screen block wall uh, it was on the house when I bought it and you see it, it's all leaning I don't know if you can see or not it's all leaning and this side here I've had bigger problems still so I'll take this uh, SEM off uh, which is to uh, stop it drying out too quickly and we'll uh, I'll explain how I've managed to do the wall because nobody else is putting them on e even my mate who's a, a bricklayer says it's a nightmare working with them right so here's the leaf screen wall again and uh, I found it extremely hard on this side here I've got all the way to do down down here in, in that uh, they're so unruly and it's hard to keep them up straight so what I've um, I tried I did this second row here I found they were uh, the ones just above the uh, tarmac and I found it was very difficult to keep them st staying um, straight up especially with them because they're not uh, they taper because they come out of a mould so they're not square on the edges and uh, they just want to um, lean and also with it being about 20 mil uh, gap 20 mil sorry mortar uh, I, I did the normal mix and with the weight of them it just sunk them down so what I've done is uh, after that uh, I've, uh, I've I've put this plywood behind I fixed this plywood behind uh, and what I've done is uh, if you can see around see around the back here of uh, I've uh, I've put it on 45 degree plywood, so I plumbed it up, and and uh, so I've got um, three th three by two uh, against the back of the plywood, and then three by two on 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 the floor there um, with um, 56 pound weights on them. Uh, to uh, hold them down so they're not actually nailed to the floor but it's plumbed up so it actually lines the, li li lines the, uh, the, the, the uh, leaf screen blocks uh, in line and as you can see I've actually got mesh in it this, this time I think you can see the mesh there so I've got mesh, mesh coming out of here and out, out of the next one down because there was none in before so that's why it all uh, had gone uh, it wouldn't stay straight and, and and it was never fastened at this end here so um, the, the post is leaning outwards um, so um, I've had to shut to this end because as you can see at the top here uh, we're, we're what about 50 mil out and I've got a brick tie there ready for the tops to go on so um, I'll try and do a video on it, uh, so I'll show you with, with the plywood just up when I do this next section here. Also, they hadn't uh, done this uh, this this uh, column right. Uh, uh, that was leaning as well, so I had to pull that down as well. And they and they haven't put any cement or, or steel bar inside it because because what happens at this side is this should actually go into into this groove here. At this end here, so um, I've jet washed all these, all these at the bottom, and and, and this area here, this this plow there's just just got the uh, breeze block behind it. I'm just straightening that piece of plywood up because I need a smaller one for this for this section here. But as you can see down, this this, this all been uh, mortar's been taken off of the uh, ones, and and I've. Um, pressure sprayed it um, uh, water to uh, clean it up as against this half here which I've I've still got to do down here so you can see a load of blocks here already nice and clean but um, they vary in size and vary, vary in width as well so it's not that easy at all to, uh, to that doesn't help either so uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate next bits which I hope it'll help you if you fancy doing one of these screen walls. But say my mate who's a bricklayer this is a bloody nightmare, and and I believe it uh, in getting them straight. So I'm going to take the plywood off of the top, and we'll have a look at it um, from behind, hopefully. 
Right, so I've taken the board off so you can see uh, it looks quite good on this side here. But what I've noticed on the uh, on, on the back is uh, it's a claim over the wall at, at its uh, it's gone wider but it does scrape off with a scraper and then I'll have to uh, I'm not left handed so I'll stop this and try it with so 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 what's happened is it's it, it has overlapped although I've read it in tried to stop it the disc coming off with the uh, scraper and I just have to touch it up so uh, we'll have a look at that when I finish that off right so it's not bad in that bit of wall but as I say I struggled out on the back side of it uh, so I'm trying a different method here where, where I'm doing it here I've, uh, I'm, I'm trying lats up uh, on the um, so, so it stays straight but also uh, I don't have to scrape off of the back here so, so what I've got is I've got uh, I've got a lat here and I've got one down there so then when I put the bottom one in, obviously I put the bottom one in first, I can slide it between those two lats, slide it down in position, but obviously that one's going to go in first. So I've got a lat there, and I've got a lat here, one there, and uh, what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, get put, put one of these uh, slightly a bit higher probably half an inch that's three eighths is that by three eighths because because i've got to work off what they've got so i think i'll put one uh, slightly deeper there just just, just hold it in position and, and get the uh, mortar in between it so you can see more what i've done you can see that at the bottom there obviously i've got to get that mesh right as well and, and and if you can see on this one here I've got a lot there so I'm going to take all those out so you can see what it looks like uh, w without the blocks and they're just in just uh, to light to make sure that the lats are in the correct position so there we are the, here's all the uprights they vary in size because I've got to match up with what's, at, what's down at the bottom there uh, so they all vary in size and not only that uh, it's not level either so I've got to plumb it up so once I've got my first row in then I'll cut some short pieces to go in between each, each one of these uh, to, to get the height uh, so, so I can get this uh, plumb at the top here once I've uh, got it all uh, cemented uh, pointed up and what have you uh, I'll let you know if it was any good doing it this way as I say this is a third test uh, even brickies think it's a nightmare using this stuff so uh, as I say uh, they, 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 they're unstable and they try to rock all over the place that's why I'm trying it uh, with a sheet of ply behind and these uh, th sticking in three eighths and then what I'll do is I'll point up the other side uh, once it's all set right this is showing you uh, from behind uh, you can see I've got uh, cramps actually going through the uh, plywood at the bottom there and the, and, and the uh, 45 degree structure to making the plywood plumb so, so looking from the other side you can see I'll, I'll drill through and uh, you see the cramp there's a cramp there and I've also got one at the top because that was already set was this part here um, same at the bottom here I've got one down here as well but 
Yes, they went in okay, but uh, I had trouble uh, buttering the side, so you can see this one's set back. And they vary in size because I've got to match up with uh, with the original uh, size uh, when it was put together. Remember, all the bottom ones were already in. So what I'm going to do now is uh, next time I'm going to make a hopper, so it, so it comes up by the side and down the front, and uh, on, only uh, put the motor in the bottom then put the hopper on top once I've got a row in and, and fill them up so we'll see how that goes next time this is looking from the bottom side of them um, they're not fixed to the floor because it varies uh, under those polythene uh, bags there uh, I've got 56 pound weights uh, which are uh, strong enough to hold it together Right, so looking at the back, uh, plywood came off quite easily. I had to, uh, so I can point the backs up uh, on this side. Um, going back to this side, this 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 is the. Uh, I'll put it in. This 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 is what I've I've now made. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the next lot. I'm just going to, I'm just going to fill it in across here slide them down the slides the pieces of wood and then just put this on top like that over the joint and then, and then just uh, tip the mortar into the top of it I might, I might even clip it on with, with with this massive big spring but it may pull them out of position I probably just hold me on there and uh, tip it in the top piece of wood push it down uh, I think it will be a, be a better job than some of these where uh, you can see the mortars uh, it will finish up flush and I'll just be able to point them off so that's what I'm going for when I do this next section down here once I've pointed this up where I am here and, and start there you notice I've got uh, I've also put uh, a brick tie here and there's also one at the far end as well uh, I've tried uh, putting blocks in on their own and they're unwieldy and go all over the place Second time I tried it with a plywood like this, but I buttered the ends, but I didn't like how I did the ends. Uh, so this time I'm going to put them in and not butter the ends. But once I've got them all in, I'm going to uh, put this against it, tip, tip the cement to the top there and, and push it down with a stick. So, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm, I'm working on an existing one and I've, I've got different levels and these are all different sizes so I've got to match them up with what, what we've got so uh, let's see how it goes uh, I've, I've not done this before uh, uh, this way so uh, let's oh, oh, oh the mix I'm using is, is not the correct mix uh, it should be uh, five builder sand uh, one lime and one cement and uh, in, in, uh, I'm using uh, four uh, grit sand one builder's sand one lime and one cement. The reason I'm using builder, uh, uh, grit sand is because uh, I bought a load in 1984 and I'm using it up but it seems to be working alright uh, but uh, I don't like wasting stuff so uh, I'm using it on my wall so here we go let's see what happens well first of all I've got to wet the wall I'm having to put an extra long extra thick piece here because uh, because uh, it steps down uh, I've, I've got about uh, half an inch drop there so uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting this uh, front here so I can line up for how, how much how much more I'm going to put in
what I'm doing is I'm putting it on a slope so that it slopes uphill but uh, it doesn't go on, on this plywood at the back so the plywood at the back there's nothing on and I mean, it's just sloped forward like that So I'll take this away now. We'll just get uh, a block and put it in. These are the blocks which uh, came out originally. Mortar off the side of them. So here we go. Well, that seems to go in quite well. What I forgot to show is how, how we're doing the rest of them. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this lat on. Well, first of all, I'm wetting the uh, wetting the wall. The existing ones that are already in. Putting this lat on, and then fill, this is this is that's three eighths at the back. This one at the front is uh, just over half an inch. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling it in so it slopes from front to back. Taking it off of the uh, bead at the back there. Making it sure that it's sloping away from it towards the front. So there's nothing on that lat at the back. Take the front lat out. the block wet it on the underside pick it up put it in and just send it down That's it, they're all staying perfectly in line. Right now, I've, been, uh, I've got all these in. I filled this uh, end one up. Uh, that was a bit of a pain, was filling that one up because uh, I had to use a, a, little, a little lat. So,
so so now it's time to try and see if this hopper works never tried it before so we'll see what happens so first of all we'll spray some water down it and then we'll put the hopper on top get some mortar stick it in the top there like that get a stick that's probably too wide is that because this is a only a narrow one is this one try this one that one's too wide also perhaps I haven't got a 3 8 one. Oh, yeah this one's 3 8 I think that's a bit too thick either. Also, we'll try this right thin one. That's better. going to be the hardest one because they're now the narrow uh, gaps the wider the gaps the bigger the piece of wood I can push down the quicker it's going to be there we are I think we're there let's see what it looks like and there we are Filled up to the top. Just need to point it off, and obviously I'll be pointing it off later on. But uh, yeah, it works. Right, so I found it easier with uh, a, bro a broader stick. So uh, I'm like uh, half the thickness of uh, of what these are. Uh, so with this, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a hell of a lot uh, quicker. I've already wet it, so if I put a, a nice big lump inside it like that, get myself comfortable. Put my foot against the bottom of it like that. And this is pushing a lot more down. In, in one go three quarters full already it's nearly there already it and then you can just slide it along for the next one as you can see now my leg will probably in the way it it's full as that just needs uh, pointing off right <coughs> right so our next stage is getting ready for the next level so yeah, put my three eighths pieces on obviously that one's um, should be shorter as that one I'll sort it out later
this first one uh, I'll have to cut down because I don't want it to go past the plywood so we'll just chop that off And to make sure that these don't stick, I'm giving them a coat of uh, a coat of uh, soap oil, chuffing soap oil. I've already done the uphill ones, the vertical ones. This will make it easier for when I have to pull it off. Right now we've got to uh, we've got the mortar in. I've got done it the full length, but it's now uh, see how we're going to get the uh, mesh in to keep it steady. So here we go. This is uh, so I'm going to hope I can push it down and then uh, I'll, I'll sort it out. I'll sort the back out uh, so it clears afterwards. It seems to be working. At this end, uh Put it in a G-cramp uh, to stop it flying all over the place. So we'll take the G-cramp off. Wait to hold this down there. Spring up in there. the first one yeah. get this now to this corner these are reused remember these have been on before First one, just a, it's a narrow gap.
because I buttered it too much but it's gone in and it's gone right down to the uh, wood at the bottom which is what I want the next one should go straight in like we did at the beginning there we are so I'll go on all the way on like that right so it's scrape it off at the back and bend it in and take the other side back the other way like that so, so it will push out when it's when it's in then wet the uh, drop it down and give it a tap with the hammer to make sure that it's right down to the uh, right down to to the wood then cut off if there's any spare just to let you know how the ply is fastened on if you can see there uh, to the right hand side there's a cramp going all the way through so I drilled through the plywood and then there's another one uh, there and there's another one further back so that's that section done uh, looking from this side I'm now going to show you from the other side how I've got the uh, plywood held in position as you can see from this side it's actually that's the back of the cramps there and what I've got, I've got, I've got two 56 pound weights in those polythene bags there holding it down because if you notice it's on blocks because we're, at, we're not level here and that's looking at this side and then we've got a bit there fastened to the tree and then it's uh, that's, that's the, the, that plywood's been plumbed up uh, it's uh, and that's what uh, lines everything up so we'll have a look from the other side now right looking from the bottom side on the outside uh, you, you can see I've got the mesh there the top one uh, so, so what's going to happen now is where those six tile at the top it drops down to the next level so that mesh that's in the top one is going to go underneath the capping and the one below is, is going to uh, carry on all the way through to this end so, so I've got six on top there and then it drops down to another six on top so, so where the so where that mesh is I'll, I'll, I'll go uh, in, in between bottom one will be in between and the top one will be under the mesh uh, sorry under the capping so that it, uh, it's all stable and it won't uh, fall over that's what the problem was before it, there was no mesh put in it at all right looking from the inside as you can see it's, it's not exactly on the floor uh, I've got a 56 pound weight and I've got blocks at that end and also uh, blocks and wedges at the other end uh, the cramp that's up this side is uh, is because it was trying to lean over on the last because I've not got uh, it in, in, in two vertical pieces of uh, wood to all these in position right to cramp that and you can see the three cramps across the bottom there which which are going straight through the uh, the existing uh, bottom uh, bo bottom uh, blocks uh, to pull the plywood in to get it in line with the uh, rest of it. So right, so I'm going to take the, I'm going to take uh, that that lot down, and we'll have a look at it from this side.
know we have it away. Obviously I've got to point all this side up but uh, that's no problem. There we are, that's it with it out and the vertical fills are a hell of a lot better using that uh, hopper to uh, fill it up. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with that so I'll do the, I'll do the rest using that. As you can see there's not many uh, uh, lats stayed in, they all come off on the board which is very good but I'll have to uh, take them all off and reline them all up uh, for the next section which is uh, this this bit here concrete mix you've just seen is actually on tomorrow's world uh, going back in the 1980s I think it was so right we're on with the uh, cappings now so we're going to wet the wall and I'm actually going to use this uh, this uh, bricky thing uh, it seems to work okay uh, things have to work it this way around so, so I can get right to that very end I've had to bend the clips in slightly so it means that uh, I've got an even uh, amount of uh, mortar on, uh, on on top of the wall problem is it looks like it's uh, going to rain uh, so it just gives an even uh, amount of uh, slide it on really designed for something this narrow so you want to make sure that it stays on top of the wall at this far end where it won't, where it won't do. Now we Get 
then just uh, wet the uh, gap in. Just put to the end. I don't know if you can see this. It's trying to rain so I can't mess around uh, altering, altering it. But I've got these lats uh, measured to equal either side. So if I set that to there, put that to there, it should be somewhere in here. But when I line it up, then wet the next one. On. I'm going to have to move my camera in quickly and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten it with a straight edge like that and uh, for the tops I've got this one where it's marked out equal either side and I just put it on and push it over and it's right but I'm going to have to put the camera inside because it's trying to rain, it's actually raining now Luckily it was only a short shower so I can now demonstrate what I was doing. So what I've done is that I've got this lat which is exactly the same half and half the width so I've checked it there and I've checked it here same as that longer one further down there and then uh, much easier than put a line band or even longer one just put your straight edge across like that to line it up and then to get the tops level I've made this piece of wood which has got marks on it, if you can see, I hope you can see them and if I line it up with the ones in between well in fact I'm better off working in the middle because these the, 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 these uh, cap, copings, cappings uh, don't, are not always equal at either end and then I can put my spirit level on top and you can see that's dead level there and it could well be out at this end here because, because they vary vary from one end to the other some of them are actually thinner at one end than what they are at the other so it's not that easy to uh, to line them up uh, and then same again on this one check this one same it wants to come down that side a little bit that's it there and uh, check it again for uh, see if it's straight And it just wants to come over a little bit this way. Check it other side because it may be at, uh, it varies again on the other side because of the uh, design of them. So you can't get them exact. Not too bad that way either. It wants to uh, tap it down slightly at, uh, at this end. But uh, they vary so much, uh, you can only uh, get them to a certain point, and, and, and that's it. So this uh, this bricky this bricky thing works quite fine because what it does is it uh, gives you an even amount on, so it's uh, a lot easier to get your uh, mesh in and then put them on. Uh, uh, I did actually make some because uh, I thought we were going to do the lower halves with this. I did actually make some pieces of wood which went on top so I could have a deeper uh, deeper amount of, uh, of uh, mortar in it but uh, they say uh, even with a stiff mortar low down uh, they, they, they tend to lean and, and, and all these uh, uh, leaf blocks uh, screen, leaf screen blocks they all taper from to coming out of the cast 
so they're not square up so it's not the easiest things to work with so uh, I hope that uh, helped you if, if, if the ends where I put the mesh in if, if it's already a very fixed ends and I, as it, like at this end here I've got a uh, brick tie um, but certain ones where I can't do that I've drilled in um, uh, and, and put a piece of quarter inch bar I've had to bend because I've drilled it an angle I've had to bend it slightly so that it lines up but uh, that's sort of they're all tied together so if anything hits it, uh, it it should stay together as against as it was before there were nothing in it and that's why it uh, collapsed right so that's the top half done and the capping's on I'm now onto the bottom half I've taken it all down uh, I'm just going to start uh, cleaning them so uh, I'll show you how I actually get the mortar off of them right so I'm using this Black & Decker Workmate uh, which works fine for them uh, so what I do is I've got a piece of uh, half inch ply I just shove it inside, drop it down inside here, tighten the sides up so that it's equal both sides and it varies, some of it falls off dead easy and uh, other times it's uh, hard to get it off. So we'll see how it goes. Give it a scrape, pick it up, turn it round. Better end here to start at, so I'll turn it round. come off in lumps like that they don't always come off that easy that's uh, that's not bad enough uh, just loosen these comb end on here There's no need to be perfectly flush as long as it's somewhere near. Next side just a little bit there so I can just tap it with it. This one has been a quite an easy one. Some of them are very hard to uh, get it off uh, but uh, they, they all vary.
see some of them are quite hard to uh, to get it off. When you're doing this, it uh, doesn't really matter if you lose uh, a bit of a corner like there and there, because when you put your mortar in, it'll, it'll sort it all out. The main thing is, if you're chipping away with one of these, if you're near the edge, make sure you, you use a flat one and not the comb one because you've more chance of damaging corner. So say you can you can lose a corner and uh, w w when you get your mortar in you point it up uh, you can lose all that. Uh, so uh, you know try your best not to chip them uh, but obviously it can happen like it's done here. Uh, I'm not worried about that Al. When I, when I point it up it, it'll all look dandy and fine. Right so the next job is uh, is to clean them. And I find I'm better on, on four crates and uh, using a figure of eight uh, I don't think you see that it's a, quite a big end is that it's a figure of eight uh, which was the powerfulest one when I bought it I don't know if it's changed uh, if anything's any better but uh, I find that's the best one to use it uh, use to do this job one I can't get all the green off uh, but it's a lot better than what it was before I started so uh, I'm going to do them all like that then we can reuse them all again right now I'm onto this side now uh, and if you've noticed the uh, ground is higher so I have to dig this out dig this down about uh, 2 inches 50 uh, millimeters uh, so I can get my plywood behind here I'm okay here uh, but at that end I'm gonna have to uh, dig it out and then I'll use these metal stakes might have to get a piece of wood behind it as well because uh, it's looks solid there so I can get the plywood solid to the side of the uh, of, 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 the, of the concrete uh, uh, blocks as I go around it goes higher and then as we go to the other side I'm below ground level so I, I'll have to use those uh, metal spikes again there right now I've got down to the bottom half here and as you can see I've had to uh, leave it as it is as it goes around the uh, tree because obviously it's pushed it over uh, and above that I've uh, managed to get it as near as plumb as I can get it but uh, now I've got the problem of lower down here I've had to shutter it out because uh, the uh, wall so, sorry the uh, brickwork that it was on uh, uh, drops by four and a half inches what's that uh, 115 mil something like that uh, so uh, 
at the far end here it's higher than the tarmac so I've had to uh, put shutters on both sides uh, with a gap of three and five eighths which is what the uh, uh, leaf screen blocks are uh, and then I the back half is dead straight uh, with a line band I uh, used uh, to go across there uh, so, so I can then push my plywood straight up to that and I'll have a straight edge at the back there I'll show it from the other side how I've got it fastened uh, down on the other side right so this side is just held with the pieces of wood either screwed to the tree or the uh, uh, tie wire around uh, those stakes with a wedge in uh, to keep it uh, plumb uh, and it's fastened again on this uh, tree here again and then just where they join together I just screwed a block on and you can see the height there so it's now in with the jolly old 1984 tomorrow's world uh, uh, mixer black and decker were try gonna gonna use it but they wanted a shorter uh, drum than that uh, and they're taking it on because it all, it all falls into the drum so uh, I've had that since about 1984 and it's still doing well so it's now, so it's now down to uh, getting a mix um, 3 3 3 2 1 that's that's 3 of uh, 20 mil gravel uh, 2 of uh, sand and uh, 1 of cement right so uh, my shuttering's at the bottom uh, as I've shown before I'm on the last leg now uh, so all the uh, spaces are all all lined up and the one on the bottom for, get, for getting me height so I can just slot them straight in and that's where it's going to finish there and you can see I've got my uh, 56 pound weight at the back there but I'll show you the other side because it's really off the ground is that side right so this is the other side uh, and as you can see uh, I've really had to block it up uh, and then you've got 56 pound weights and I've also got these uh, steel bars here to make sure that it pushes right up to the uh, formwork uh, which I I've got on the other side there because as I say this uh, when they originally did this uh, it drops down by uh, four and a half inches uh, so it was out of level before so uh, uh, that what, what's that? Uh, 150 millimeter at, at this far end. So this is the last one, and uh, then I've just got to get the cappings on. There we go. That's my final uh, bit on uh, the end here. All I've got to do now is build a column out of uh, all these bits here for the end I don't know how it was done before one thing I did forget to mention was that uh, uh, for the top of the plywood to make sure that it's straight I've actually uh, fastened uh, some wood across the top if you can see it there you can so, so it straightens the plywood out because it's only uh, I think it's uh, 15, 15 mil plywood so that straightens it out so looking at it further down this way you can see how it's all together with the uh, bars in to push it up against the wood at the bottom there and I say looking from the other side that is uh, a 230 uh, leaf screen blocks there uh, 20, uh, 22 are a new one uh, the rest I've had to clean them out, uh, get the mortar off uh, and, and power wash them so all I've got to do now is the cappings and this end here so that I've got uh, something similar to that um, end that I've got there right so down at the bottom uh, uh, I'm not going to do uh, one of these brick ones like it's got there because I've got these bits on the floor here when they came off and they're um, uh, they, they've had the days that's why they fell down so so as you can see I've got a steel bar in there and I'm going to do it to like the one is further up so uh, I've got uh, my mesh going through there tied to it 
and coming across the top which is then going to go under the uh, cap in so I'll show you uh, what it's going to look like so it's going to look like this when it's finished uh, except for this was in sections if you remember uh, cement it together I'm just going to concrete it in one go with the marks like that is so it's going to have the bands uh, it's going to have the two inch one not going to have that one but it's going to have equal ones lower down because it's not three high so here's the shutter for it uh, as you can see it's got the the bands the pieces in uh, to mark out where where the joints were and uh, 45 degree corners uh, so it's going to be exactly matching up to that this side here line that obviously lines up with here so i'll show you with it on next and ready for pouring so i'll, I'll move back so you can see how how big it is and where it's going from the other side right so that's the measurements of it uh, if you were wondering what size they are so now we'll have a look at the uh, shutter now i've got it fixed right so there's the shutter uh, fastening position as you can see you see the seal down the middle this is tight to this so it's all tight together so when I put the cappings on to be fixed um, so uh, I'm holding it with uh, cramps uh, probably could have gone away with three but I've got four cramps so I put four on and we'll have a look at the other side now so you can see how it's connected up uh, on this side as well I probably didn't need it to put these uh, braces on but uh, concrete's uh, quite heavy and uh, if you don't uh, you could have problems later on uh, if it bursts or it decides to uh, move so I've, uh, I've really made it solid uh, so to the, there's no movement whatsoever there shouldn't be any movement whatsoever see so I've filled that bit in there so it, uh, the capping will come up to here and then uh, when I put the uh, the bevel capping on that will that'll line up with as well obviously it's showing low now because there's no, there's no mortar underneath it right so that's uh, most uh, finished now just got to uh, I've got the uh, coping stones on the top uh, so I've got a point uh, up uh, around uh, this column I've made here see where I put the grooves in for it um, I'll show you how I, made, I managed to our two coping short and if you notice uh, they do actually uh, vary in colour as, as they go but that's how they were originally so I, I'll tell you how I made the uh, uh, the the uh, saddleback coping's right so these are the two uh, saddleback coping's that I made because uh, I was too short here's a closer picture of the finish right so this is the uh, shutter I made and used for them uh, It's quite easily made. So, so all these sides are actually sloping, so it makes it so it, so they're slightly beveled out, so it easily sets it out. So what did what I did do? I coated it uh, with uh, uh, shutter and soap oil, so I can reuse them again. And then uh, the mix I used, I tried a few different mixes uh, because it's a rough it's a rough finish. Is 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 the uh, one which I wanted. And I found the best one was uh, uh, three 10 mil quartz gravel. So that's three 10 mil quartz gravel, four three sand, uh, which was the um, um, concrete sand, the grit sand, one uh, builder's sand. That's making four sand altogether, and and one and a half. That's one and a half. Uh, cement to make it a bit solid with a steel bar inside it so I made the mix up uh, and then I coated the, uh, the inside of here with a paintbrush with coca-cola and then uh, I put it in 
and then the following uh, day uh, I, I took it out and left it about to, so I tipped it out of here tipped it out following day and uh, left it about a couple hours and then I coated it again with uh, with a paintbrush with coca-cola uh, this is an American idea in, in, in that the the, uh, the sugar in it soaks into it so you can get rid of the uh, fat so you can, it shows the uh, gravel so then uh, I got those and with no end on it just pouring I just ran that over the top and just scrubbed it with a brush um, and that's how I got that finish uh, of showing the uh, gravel uh, all over uh, so that's how I did it so so the final thing I've got to do now is just uh, grout up the other grout up the other side uh, where, where, where I had the plywood so uh, I'll show you how I do that next and then that's it uh, uh, my wall's finished right then the last thing to do is to uh, point your joints up so I'm just wetting them and then just get your gun make sure you wet your gun inside first of all or it, it sticks and only fill it half full just what happens is uh, we're pointing it like this the water part of the uh, mortar somehow drains down to the bottom and the last if you fill it right to the top the last bit finishes up being quite solid because uh, it's dried out so just easier to just fill it half full Then just touch them up. Take the excess off. And then later on, this piece of copper pipe, uh, obviously I'm going to wait till it dries, it dries quite a bit. And then I can just finish them up, finish them off with this. And uh, they'll match up to the other side. And uh, that's all there is to it. So, so I'm still using the same mix. I'm still using uh, uh, four grit sand, one uh, builder's sand, one lime and one cement. Right, so that's it. Uh, the leaf uh, screen wall is now finished. There's, so uh, I've now done 223 uh, leaf blocks. Uh, 20 of them are new, the rest of them are about to clean them up. Uh, take the mortar off the side and redo them. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank goodness, another job totally finished. I hope this helps you uh, if you want to have a go at it uh, doing these. Not easy, but uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. That's the end. Thank you. Bye.